Since the killer first struck in Southeast Seminole Heights, 37 long, dark nights have passed. Three more victims have been killed and still no arrests. But police now have a suspect caught on surveillance video moments before the last murder. They believe he's the same man spotted near the scene of the first shooting. The reward to catch this guy, $91,000. Sarah Rosario headed out tonight to get a glimpse at what this killer is doing to this small community. We're pulling up on where the shooting happened last, last night. Happened right around here. Here's the intersection. Here in Tampa. Can we talk to you for a second? No. Can we talk to you? Sure. Okay. So what are you thinking? I think it's pretty getting, it's getting pretty bad out here that we have to have our cops on every corner now. Right on 15th, we have this house right here without lights on. Another house over here. This one has lights on. Look, there's kids and everything out here. I love that you guys are out here. You know, I feel like a lot of people are, are scared. It could be anybody child next. And then Christmas and Thanksgiving come around the corner. I can imagine how the families could be hurting. That's just tragic. Is someone paying you to be out here to protect this area? Well, we were um, we were hired uh, to protect this church. This guy's just making a mockery out of law enforcement. He's laughing. He's daring you to catch him. He's that cocky. He's that arrogant. But we get to go in our car, go home. Right. But you guys live here every single right. day with a killer out on the loose. And that's, and that's the crazy thing. We don't know what he looks like. And that's the main thing that we don't even know what it looks like. We just say it's a black male that could be anybody late night, could be walking around. So we really don't know. I wish we just knew exactly more details on what we're looking for and things like that. Because I would love to help because I said I have children out here. Now that late night I'd be out here. So it's more safety for me and my children um, to make sure that they find him. If you know something about the killer in Seminole Heights, get in touch with police. 10 News is staying on top of the very latest updates on air and at WTSP.com. We're also sending out alerts the moment that we get any major update from police.